Hey, this video just started without me playing the play button. I'm not kidding. Okay, the main purpose of this video is to just speak about my experience with She Glam Magnetic Lashes. Not to mention, I washed it all off last night. And this is a residual effect. This is from scrubbing that eyeliner off. Okay, I scrubbed. I lost more lashes trying to get this eyeliner off than I have ever lost wearing glue on in the last year and a half. I know there's going to be some people that are like, oh, I just don't know what you're doing. No, I know what I'm fucking doing. I'm 44 years old. I'm going to tell you what. I put the strip down on my hand and the lash wouldn't move. No, granted, it wouldn't move. But that stuff that you're putting on your eyelashes, that magnetic strip that's tar, you know it's tar, right? What does tar do well? It sticks to stuff and it makes it break off. My eyelashes are still covered in that tar shit. I cannot, for the life of me, get it off. Now it's dripping. Can't get that off. It's bad enough I'm going out of town tomorrow. My freaking nose ring immediately got infected. I had to whip it out. I thought I was going to have to cut my nose open to get this out. It was so bad. My cold sore is still not gone. If maybe come back and it's spread. I'm, I'm just like, come on, really? can't go out of town like this. Anyways, magnetic lashes are not necessarily a bad thing. Do not take my opinion and run with it. Just know that everybody's different. And I will say it seems easier to just put a stripe down a black, let it dry a little bit, throw on the magnets and go. Well, that's not exactly what happened when I went to take it off. The lash wouldn't even come off my eye because the tar liner was so thick on my eyelash. It was bad. It was bad altogether. Anybody interested in three pack of She Glam magnetic lashes, just contact me. I paid for them. I only cut one pair. You can have the other two pairs, just let me know. I'm not doing magnetic again. It's not going to happen. I never once with the glue lost as many lashes as I've lost with this magnetic eyeliner. And I'm afraid to put on mascara like tomorrow when I get ready to travel because I have no idea what that stuff did to my lashes, man. I feel like it, bad, it I mean, I use some makeup remover. My God. Then I wake up today and it's like literally like down here. That's not me. That's makeup. Your makeup shouldn't stay like that. Not if you're cleaning it. Okay. So, do you want the she glams? You got to let me know. If you don't want them, you don't want them, I get it. There may be a better brand out there, but I'm not going to lie. If the magnetic strip is going to be liquid, it's going to end up having to be tacky like tar. And it's also going to cause me a problem when I'm trying to do makeup and I have a tremor. One of the main reasons I never tried the magnetic ones, well, I did try them a while back, but I didn't stick with them, was because of, why did I Oh, I only had three magnet ones, and they didn't stick. But I'll tell you what, I'm not putting that black stuff on my eyes again. That That's bad, man. That is bad for your eyelashes. So I don't know who invented magnetics, but you tried. Good shot. You tried. You mark up your prices, you put some magnets on, and you give somebody a stain like tar to put on their eyes. Smart. Smart. I'll go right back to glue. You want to know what I'm going to go back to? I'm going to go back to last year. And I'm just going to use primer and my own mascara. Because I'm getting tired. You know what I did? Here's why. All last year, I got into lashes. Why did I get into lashes last year and the year before? 2019 and 2020. No, 2020 and 2021, I got into lashes. Why? Boredom. We were all confined. Why else? I said it in a million videos. I cannot stand washing my eyes. I don't like washing mascara off my eyes. Three. My teeth were all broken. I figured if everyone could just look at my beautiful eyes and all beautiful eyelashes with some green eyeliner that nobody would even notice from a jacked up mouth. That was probably not the third reason. That was probably the main reason. And then I really struggled to get them on and I was going to give up and I got a lot of encouragement online and everyone was like, don't give up, don't give up if that's what you want to do. But now that my teeth are fixed, now that my, I mean, my teeth are white, they're straight, they're dentures, they're not mine, but they're, they're mine. I'll take care of them. But now that I have that, I don't necessarily know that I have to. We'll see. I like the lashes still, but... Okay, so these are She Glam, and I want to make sure you know the brand, because there may be another brand on that. I did try the bougie ones, and that's the one that comes with a little crimper. They're like $25. They come in a little pink tin. I, I'm dyslexic. I couldn't figure that too out if you paid me to, dude. I kept putting the lashes on. I kept poking my eye out with lashes. Like, the lashes were... Just... Oh, fuck. You know what my son would say? You lost a few brain cells, Mom. Dude, that was bad. 
I mean, I've had some experiences that I have not shared with you guys. I, 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 I'm not kidding though. Let, let's take a deep look at that. It's up here. All right. I scrubbed. I used two cotton balls and makeup remover. The makeup remover I have sucks though. Now, the one thing I can say that when I wear the glue, every once in a while when I take off my lashes with the glue, there'll be a little spot of glue still, but. You curl and comb up. Something just got in there. And don't you tell me I just lost another one. Do you see that big dibbage? The dibbage is probably where I'm missing a freaking lash. <laughs> Anyways, if you know a better way to do this, I don't know. Maybe I have to try it. Maybe I will experiment with one more eyeliner. But you got to know, a woman with bad, you know, tendonitis or carpal tunnel or whatever this is, is starting to form in this one, too, because it's picking up all the slack. I got a lot of medical problems. And obviously, my face is torn. I just don't need any strips. <laughs> Get ready to go to Phoenix, and I am going to enjoy my few days there. I'm going to spend time with my nieces and nephews, and my sister, my sister-in-laws, my mother-in-law, and I'm just going to enjoy my time, because come next Tuesday, we jump on a flight at 5.40 in the morning, and we head right back to the grind in Kansas City, and it just snowed five to six inches all day today. Thank God we're not driving the last time. The last time there was snow right before we drove, we got stuck in... Iowa ice. No, I don't know how delayed the planes will be. We have to go to Detroit. Detroit. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to fucking Detroit. Well, when I traveled for my grandpa, I did have to go to Tampa and then back to Milwaukee. It's weird as hell. Um, we have to go to Denver. Tomorrow's our layover. We'll be there for about an hour. See, I don't know what the weather's been like in Denver, so I'm not really sure what to expect. Man, my face is really starting to piss me off. It looks like shit. That's what happens when you wear crap. This is my fault. I should have never put that nose ring in. It looked dirty, and I put it in anyways, and it immediately got infected. It was so bad. It swelled over. It swelled. I know it was in for less than 24 hours. It swelled over the ring. I had to literally pry this thing out of my nose. Oh, did that hurt. I was crying. Tears were just flying out of that eye. Then I'm over here in the bathroom going, what the fuck? Why is this not gone? I've been putting, I put a whole thing of a breather on it. Because of where it's at with these teeth going in and out and rubbing on cold sores, how the hell am I ever going to get rid of a cold sore if it gets on my dentures? Do you know what I'm saying? I still have a little medical, medical mouthwash left over from when I had my dentures first put in. I'm going to go put some of that on it. I remember that always really dried everything up. Now, concealer's a great thing, and so is makeup. So, I mean, I'm not worried that I'm going to look like shit on vacation because I really don't care. They don't care if I look like shit or look good anyways. We're all just wanting to be together. Danny wants to help his mom with his ho her house so she can sell it, get on with life. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going tomorrow. And it is not, I mean, it's February. It's not going to be like 80, 90 degrees or not. On Thanksgiving when we were there, it was warm. It was like 85. It was hot during the day. The hottest it's supposed to get when we're there is 74 during the day. So, a mediocre trip. I didn't bring, I don't even think that I brought one poor pair of shorts. I have mostly leggings and jeans and stuff like that. I have two pairs of slacks, two pairs of leggings, and two pairs of jeans. Mm -hmm. And maybe one pair of shorts. No dresses. I did bring my swimsuit in case of pools. There's a pool. In the hotel, we will be staying in a hotel when we get there, because we get in so late tomorrow night. And then um, my husband's father is going to pick us up on Friday, and I don't know where we're going to go from there. But I don't think my husband's going to start working on his mom's house till the weekend, because the weather will be a little bit warmer in the morning. That and that's just how it goes. I really feel like I need to put on makeup or something. And I'm also wondering too if maybe okay, what I was trying to do is wait for that cold sore to go away to change out my sponge. Okay. That's what you would normally typically do. I didn't do that yet because I noticed it wasn't gone. I didn't know it was going to pop back up and bring the second one with. I'll tell you what. I'll just keep cleaning the sponge, keep patting on my color corrector. <laughs> and I'll just keep cleaning the sponge every time I use it. I don't know what else to do. Buy another sponge. I mean, I have other sponges. I just don't like the waste. This thing isn't even nicked. It doesn't have one little nick in it. Right, enough of my venting. Just know this. Know this. I know that it seems easier to wear the magnetic lashes. It does. Magnets over glue any day. However, 
the tap that they make you put on your eyelashes or on your eyelid is not face stuff. It's not meant to go on your face. It's like tar. It's meant to go on the street. Okay. I'm not. I'm going to try one other one other brand of that. I think Kiss sells a magnum. And if it's, if it's anything like that, tacky, then again. So, again, contact me. See how I feel when I get back from vacation. Okay. Somebody taking on my magnetic lashes. I mean, you wouldn't take the pair that I already wore, but there's two other pair. I'm willing to give them to somebody. I'm serious. I'd love to take money for them, but no. Let me just give them away. I cannot charge for them because my eyes are just wrecked. And I only wore them for a few hours. Can you imagine if you had them on even longer? Oh, that was a nightmare. It's not that the magnets weren't easy to use. They were easy. Tink, tink, tink. It was the amount of black that I had to use to get them to stay down. Never came out. Dripped somehow through probably just me having water come out of my eyes watching TV last night. This is... Game changer. I'm not... Everyone was like, it's a game changer. They're magnetic. It's a game changer. I'm happy I tried it. Okay, always try it before. You should probably do If you're going to try something or buy something, like say, if you're going to buy something, try it. And show the people in the world what you're finding out. Everyone's going to get a different outcome, of course. But if the majority of the people are getting the same outcome, is it really worth the trial? All right, you go in peace. <laughs>